The next feature that we'd like to discuss is called appointments or scheduling. If we go to the customer menu and click on appointments or scheduling, the window for this feature will open up. And basically this uh, feature is simply a very fancy appointment book or appointment maker so to manage any kind of appointments. So you can make appointments in here for your clients or you can even schedule the work time for your employees in here. So, uh, visually speaking, uh, the largest portion of the screen in here will be reserved for this table, this grid, that gives you a visual representation of all your appointments for the selected date. This is where you select the date that you want to view the appointments for. You can either select it from this uh, visual calendar in here or just manually type it if you prefer manually typing right here in this uh, text field and it always starts off with the today's date uh, by default when you start this option and gives you a glance of today now as you can see uh, no matter where we go with the date it always looks the same kind of like an empty table because we haven't scheduled any appointments yet really in here and uh, we're running this feature for the first time in these video tutorials so uh, basically this is a very small looking table for us in here because we only have two employees that's why these two single columns in here and not anymore and uh, in your case where you have like multiple employees more than two in your business uh, all of them will have their own column in here and uh, you know that that top row in here just represents uh, the the employee assigns each column to one employee so they're responsible for that appointment that you make or uh, this uh, vertical column in here assigns a certain time to each uh, row in here so it visually tells you the time span of the appointment now in order to make an appointment all we need to do is select the date for the appointment the date that we want that appointment to occur let's say we'll just stick for simplicity with today's date we can either select it in here or type it in again manually if we prefer that and uh, then we need to select the time or literally uh, write and type out the time in here starting time for the appointment and then the two time is the ending time for the appointment and then we need to select the employee from this drop down menu the employee that's going to be responsible for that appointment and uh, in order to speed things up in here uh, significantly you can literally skip this section and not type in anything here, not do anything manually but go with a visual uh, move that will take care of all of that let's say we want uh, the responsible employee for this appointment to be Jack so in their column we're just gonna click on the grid that represents the start time of the appointment and then by holding the button of the mouse uh, pressed we keep on going down until we get to the desired end time of the appointment and we release it there so what it did is it pre-filled everything for us uh, the starting time the end time of the appointment and the responsible employee for the appointment by looking at which column we used now of course you can fine-tune this you know let's say by a few minutes or whatever you don't agree with this general time you can just do let's say instead of 11:45 a.m. it can end at 11:50. that's not a problem and then the only uh, thing left to do is this area in here which is mainly the customer information the customer that this appointment is for uh, and if this is a pre-existing customer that's already in the database as soon as you start typing in the phone number it will, the auto fill will the auto complete will uh, begin to help you with suggestions and if you like the phone number that's showing you all you gotta do is tab away or click to the next field and it will also fill in the customer's name for you so you don't have to type that in either if it's a pre-existing customer in the database already and then in comments uh, please know that comments are totally optional uh, you can uh, leave it blank or you can put in some comment you know so I'll just type something in, in here just so you know how it looks like with a comment and then all the only thing left to do is click submit and that appointment is finalized you have an appointment visually presented in here now and as you can see the rectangle is still the same in Jack's column because that's the employee responsible for this 
appointment and visually it shows a rectangle from 10 15 a.m. to about 11 45 even though the most precise uh, time is 11 50 that's why it writes it down in here for you this is the comment that we made about the appointment and this is the name of the customer that the appointment is for now let's go ahead and make another appointment and we'll call this one a mistake we'll just say that we made this appointment by mistake and uh, let's say we want to delete this appointment right because we made it by a mistake in order to delete an appointment all you gotta do is select that appointment and click the delete button it's gonna ask you for uh, a confirmation in case you click the delete button by mistake and as soon as you confirm that the appointment is gone now as you noticed when I click on the appointment it fills out everything it has on that appointment everything and also all of that gets pre-filled so you can easily view the details of the appointment uh, at the same time you can use the button next to the delete button the customer info button once you have selected an appointment all this is filled out mainly the customer phone number and the customer name you can click customer info and we'll, with this information right here it will skip right into the customer info screen and show you the full customer file for that appointment so that's what that button's for that customer info button and the rest of the buttons in here are pretty useful to display all it's kind of like a clear um, uh, you know clear button for the uh, or refresh button for this visual in here if you select too many things and you get lost or whatever you know you don't like the way this looks but you still have selected the right date in here you know all you gotta do is click display all so it's kinda like a refresh of this screen uh, print will uh, print out this visual representation of the appointments that you're looking at at the moment to your printer uh, export to Excel does the same thing but instead of printing it uh, printing the visual representation of the appointments to the printer it exports it to Excel so it puts it in Excel for you uh, clear all simply clears everything it's gonna clear the grid all these fields in here everything selected it's kinda like a reset button uh, delete the customer info we already talked about as well as setup and submit and search is a button that you use to perform a search for an appointment uh, let's say you made an appointment well into the future or you want to look up an old appointment well into the past and you can't just guess the date and go day by day and look for it to find it because you really don't remember what day exactly it was then you use this search option in here and you can search by any keyword in order to find it and that's what this feature is all about the appointment feature